Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another Fox Tech video. And in this one, we talk about cleaning your Apple Magic Mouse properly. Because keeping your Magic Mouse clean is really essential for the optimal performance and longevity of the device. But according to Apple's supports, like article on cleaning Apple products, the first step is to power off your device. So obviously, if your Magic Mouse uses removable batteries, make sure to take them out for uh, devices like the Magic Mouse 2. Make sure that the switch is turned off so you don't like click around on the screen. Next, uh, you'll want to clean the exterior of the Magic Mouse. So you're supposed to use a lint-free cloth that's lightly moistened with water. It's important to emphasize that the cloth should be only slightly damp. Avoid getting moisture into any openings as this could damage the internal components. Additionally, the refrain from using aerosol sprays, abrasives, or any cleaners that contain hydrogen. These substances can be too harsh and may cause damage on the surface or functionality of the mouse. If your Magic Mouse isn't tracking properly, this could be due to some kind of debris on the, uh, uh, like, uh, you know, on the center, on the back. To check this, turn the mouse over and inspect the center window uh, using a bright light. And you can see some small particles uh, that might be causing the issue. You should, like, remove it. Perhaps use, like, gently uh, compressed air to clean uh, the uh, sensor. And, yeah, this might avoid, uh, like, you know, damaging this device and cleaning it at the same time. So to recap, make sure to use the lint-free cloth to, you know, clean uh, the surface of the mouse. At first, you need to make sure that it is turned off so you don't click around and do something unintentionally on your computer. And on the back, you might also want to check out the sensor and everything so it slides smoothly. You can easily just like swipe it or you like clean it with the cloth as well if you want or very slightly use the air or like blow into it to like get the particles and debris out of this. But that's essentially it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll catch you in the future.